Welcome to Rockingham Motor Speedway. We're here to help someone find their perfect new car. Um, I'm looking for a practical family car. It's comfortable inside, looking to spend about £18,000, uh, something that's suitable to, to take my mountain bike away for longer drives on the weekend with the family. I'm actually looking at a Volkswagen Golf. Have you also considered the Honda Civic? Yeah, I have actually, but I don't know a huge amount about it. See, the wife's been talking about the new um, BMW 1 Series. The Subaru Impreza? Uh, I've been reading a lot of reviews about it, so I really should be considering it. OK, let's take a closer look. So what is your number one concern when buying any of these cars? Well, with all the snow and ice we've had recently, my key concern is probably how these cars are going to perform in the wintry weather. OK, well, all these cars are brand new, so they've all got the usual safety equipment like ABS and airbags. But there is a crucial difference. These two are front-wheel drive, the BMW is rear-wheel drive, and the Subaru is four-wheel drive. And that can make a massive difference to how they handle in snow. That's why we've brought you to Rockingham. It's a perfect place to test these cars in winter conditions. We're here at the skid pan, and our first test is the kick plate. So what that does is it replicates driving on black ice, and it will kick the car sideways whenever you hit it at 30 miles per hour. So all you have to do is steer into the skid and then drive up to the end. Should we give it a go? Yeah, let's do let's it. Do it. How did you find that? It didn't kick out as much as I thought it might do. You could feel the car um, correcting itself and, and down a straight road that, that would have been okay. Here we are in the Honda Civic, another front wheel drive car. Okay. How did you find that? <laughs> As you saw, we were all over the shop there. I mean, it kicked to one side, I, I'm not sure which, and then trying to correct it, I completely lost control. Right, here we are in the BMW 1 Series. Now, this is rear wheel drive, um, so it'll be a bit harder to control. What do you think of that? Um, Again, out of control, um, you know, once you lose the back end, I, I really struggle to bring it back. Um, it's the sort of thing that I didn't learn at my driving school years ago, and I haven't learned it out on the road. Okay, here we are in the Subaru Impreza. Now, this car is four-wheel drive. Never driven a four-wheel drive before, so this should be interesting. Unlike the other cars, this car doesn't have um, any safety systems. Instead, it relies on its four-wheel drive system. Um, I felt the kick, um, I, as with the others, um, but it, it picked up pretty quickly. So it gave you a lot more confidence? Uh, yeah, it certainly did. Okay, Craig, here we are in the Civic, um, and we're about to do the slalom run. So this simulates um, like changing direction quickly on the motorway if it's particularly icy or snowy, and it will give you a feel for how the car will handle. I just found that the, the front part of the car slipping away from me as I was trying to turn into the bend. Yeah, that's called understeer. It's, um, it's like a common characteristic of front-wheel drive cars. It's um, just it running out of grip. So here we are in the Gulf. Um, same thing again, the slalom course. Feel the sort of traction control. It handled pretty sharpish. It, uh, there was no major spin out. Felt pretty comfortable. Okay, so let's try the slalom now in the BMW 1 Series, which is rear wheel drive. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lively car. It's, um, I thought I was bringing it back in, but um, either the, the power in the car or, or the rear wheel drive, it really throws the back out. Okay, and lastly, here we are in the Subaru Impreza all wheel drive. Let's give that a shot, see how that tackles the slalom. Uh, that 
felt pretty good. I was comfortable and safe and um, a, an easy drive. Just imagine this as a, a slippery junction. So you're pulling out, there's a car coming, you need to get out of the way as quickly as possible. So I want you to just put your foot to the floor and just drive off. I've driven all four cars now on that slippery surface. What do you think? The four-wheel drive makes such a difference uh, pulling away. Um, you can feel it on the surface, head and shoulders above the rest, and, and, and it could make a massive difference, yeah? Pulling away in front of an oncoming truck, it doesn't really bear thinking about. Okay, so you've got one choice. You had to take any home tonight to live with for the next, say, three years. What would it be? Uh, it's a tough one, but balancing both the design, the feel, and the safety out, I think for me, it's probably got to be the Golf. But if you were to be pushed on the safety front alone, what would you take? On a, on, on a safety front, I mean the four-wheel drive, it's just it's so much sturdier out there. It'd have to be the Subaru.